Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as the Collector75. Welcome to another Transformers review. Uh, right, for this one, uh, these are a couple of figures that I picked up the other day. Um, well, actually they got sent through the post the other day, in fact. Um, and to be honest, I'm actually pretty damn pleased with them. Um, this is, of course, this is uh, Encore number 21, Sound Blaster, along with two new cassettes. Um, old moulds, but new characters. Uh, they are, of course, our Sound Blaster, and this is, I believe, called Enemy. And, of course, this is one is Wing Thing, but I'll get onto them in a little bit. Um, I just want to show you the box first. Um, I was actually pretty damn, like I said, I was actually pretty damn pleased with these. Let me just move these back. I was only getting these for the for the new cassettes because I love all these old cassettes. But anyway, this is the box. Um, I'm not going to actually show you the box too well. Uh, not from this angle, anyway. Let me just see if I can lift this up slightly. Um, it's a pretty damn great representation of his old box. Um, Love it. I absolutely think that's brilliant. And I'll probably end up keeping these now because, like I said, I was actually only going to get these for the original cassettes that it comes with, but um, the box looks brilliant and they've done a lot more paint applications on this. Um, as before, or with Soundwave usually, usually full of stickers, but this guy doesn't come with any, no sticker sheet at all. And just now, with all nearly all painted apps. Um, he's got a nice big painted Decepticon insignia on the front there. Um, this bit here where it says stereo, micro cassette and everything um, is all painted on. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's a few little blemishes. Nothing is totally perfect, unfortunately, but it's still pretty damn good. Even the little number 10 there, that's painted on. Absolutely fantastic. And around the little symbols there, they're all painted on. That's all painted. Um, I think there's only one sticker on this entire set that's pretty good. Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, I'll probably end up keeping this now. So anyway, let me just show you what else he comes with. Comes with three um, collector's cards. I do love these cards. This is of course Sound Blasters. Pretty good. Pretty cool. This is Enemies, and this is Wing Things. Uh, looks almost identical to <laughs> Rat Bats. There, funnily enough, the colour scheme in a way. Uh, right. So we're going to transform him last. Just going to concentrate on these little cassettes. This one is of course Enemy. Uh, now, then, as far as I know, along with the Encore Twin Cast that I've also got. Um, the cassettes actually, they're new characters, but sort of based on, I don't know, is it old people? Not old people, but old characters or something that never ever got a toy. I believe this one, Enemy, was some sort of soap dispenser or writing set or something. I've seen a picture of it that just basically had the old rumble head and maybe the top of the half of the torso and everything. It was just all coloured red. Uh, so they decided to make a toy of it. It's basically just the um, the normal toy of Rumble. His colours reversed, really. So whereas you used to have a red cassette um, and, and a black body, this one now has almost like a dark blue cassette on the front. And when you flip it around, it's like a red body back there. You'll see more of that in robot mode anyway. So let's transform this guy. Here we go. It's usual old transformation. I'm not going to go too much into it. Damn stiff joints, which is always good. And not like some of the knockoff toys of these which you get, which I've got a few of myself. As you can see, it's all like die cast metal. Um, I put the Decepticon insignia on him there. Um, he does come with the usual rub sign there, but I always move that off. Uh, the arms are damn stiff, which is pretty damn good. And which won't get annoying is the fact that you've got now painted details on these arms, where you used to get little stickers that was always falling off. So anyway, so you transform this fella into robot mode, it's quite easy. And he's all tight joints and everything, and he looks pretty cool. Um, I know this doesn't look too bright, unfortunately, mainly because the sun's just gone in the window behind me. Um, but he's pretty cool. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he's supposed to be like it, I'm assuming it is. Because he's, cause Sound Blast has uh, gold chrome paint on there. So, But this on Rumble, well, sorry, Enemy here. The paint apps, they're usually there on Rumble and Frenzy and whoever, it was always gold chrome or silver chrome. This is just like a dull gold paint, um, which is quite different. It looks pretty, pretty cool. The usual, well, there used to be stickers on his legs are now painted on. Um, actually, looks pretty cool. Um, once you put his weapons on, which I've got just down here, along with everybody else's weapons, uh, he, they're pretty cool. And he goes on there, easy enough. Put one there. And then you can do the old thing where you just put one in his hand. Yeah, I don't want to stay on too well, but that's only because I've not got it in the right position. Because there's a little um, grooves in there, and you just got to slot them into the right bits. There we go. I've done this the other day, and it went off straight a bloody one and stayed on. Well, anyway, you can put it on like that. That's usually the best way. And so he looks pretty cool. I, I do like Enemy. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, right, so let's move on to Wing Thing. Wing Thing, of course, was based, well, is based on the Action Master partner for Soundwave back in the Action Masters line where he comes with a, like a bright orange kind of a bat type thing I think um, I'm not quite sure if it was supposed to be a bat or not but anyway but that's what he's based on so they just used the rat bat mould coloured him orange and black uh, nothing more to it really uh, let's just transform this into bat mode it's a pretty cool damn cassette the quality is actually pretty good I do have one or two issues with a couple of things mainly just usually paint applications uh, more so on one of the twin cast sets um, but anyway, but that's him. He comes with these slightly uh, almost black chromed weapons instead of silver chromed, which is actually quite a nice difference, to be honest, when you put this on, because they're not shiny. Well, they're, not, they're shiny, but not as shiny as the silver weapons, obviously. And you put him on, and he looks pretty cool. Uh, I do like it. Um, probably not as much as I thought I was going to like it for some reason. But it still looks pretty damn cool. I put the little Decepticon logo on in there. Yeah, so anyway, so that's Wing Thing and Enemy. And let's just transform this guy. This is, of course, Sound Blaster. And he has the same usual transformation. All tight joints. Um, I can't really fault this, to be honest. Let me just fold that down. Open that out. I just do like to be a bit careful with it. Being reissues, sometimes the quality can be a bit shit. So I was just a little bit, a little bit wary when I transform these guys. There we go. And let me flip up the head. Let me just move him back a little bit. And we flip down the hand, the hands even, not the hands. Bring them down there. And that is Sound Blaster in robot mode. He does come with all his usual weapons. He comes with this one. Uh, now then, they have put the stick. This is the only bit where they put stickers on with on these guns. Uh, this sticker should be on the top here, but they haven't for some reason. I might try and take that off and put that on myself. You know, that goes in his hand, and then we can put his little shoulder cannon in his little hand up there. And he looks pretty damn good. I do like Sound Blaster. I love Soundwave. This is my favourite Transformer ever. And he, Soundwave was my first Transformer. And you can't fault it, really. Um, let me just see if I can just bend his legs aside. All these are painted on applications. Let me just show you the head. The head is probably where they've made the biggest difference. If I can just get it out of the light for a second. Um, they've repainted the head slightly. They've given him red eyes because the original had yellow eyes. And now all the head below the eyes uh, is all silver now, whereas before the only bits that used to be silver was the very front tips just here and the actual mouthpiece, whereas now it's all silver. And I actually quite like it. So he's different enough for me to keep. Um, and he still has the usual die cast metal pieces, which was on the original. And of course, he does have the opening chest cavity. And both these guys will fit in him there. Let me just see if I can transform these very very quickly say that but anyway yeah I, I think if you if you don't have the original because I've got the I don't have the original sound blaster but I do have the was it the special collection from about five years ago something like that which I have which um I will probably end up keeping as well I was like so I was going to sell this one uh, just keep the two cassettes and everything see he will pop just easily in there um just to make some of my money back really but I think he's sufficiently different and I do like it, so I'll probably end up keeping both of them. And just transform them like that. But overall, um I do recommend this set actually. If you if you don't have them, like any of the originals or anything like that, and you're a bit like me and you love the old G1 cassette formers, I, I think these are actually pretty damn good. There you go, see, and they all seal up in there pretty damn good. They do have the usual sticker where it's decoded inside the chest carry, but they've covered up with the Decepticon sign, which doesn't really help. Uh, right, so this has been Graham, the Collect 75, with Sound Blaster and Enemy and Wing Thing. Uh, I hope you like this review, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.